today on World of Hurt. I think that girls and should just be cute, shut their mouth, and be wrestling naked in the mud. I hope I'll get to punch you in the face. Oh, look at me, I'm beautiful. Ah! Off the throat, one. Ah! I have lots of finger tattoos. Yeah? Ah! My name is Lance Storm, and this is my world. People come from all over the globe to learn from me. These 10 prospects have come to Storm Wrestling Academy for an advanced training course. They will be pushed to the breaking point. They will learn what it takes. They will perform in front of a live audience. And they will find out if I think they have what it takes or if they are wasting their time. If they survive my training, they will be the best of the best. But until then, they belong to me. Sex appeal can be a really big asset as a performer in professional wrestling, but it can't be the only thing you bring to the table. You have to bring it in the ring, you have to bring it on the microphone, you have to bring it in all elements. If sex appeal is the only thing you bring to the table, you are not going to succeed. All of Lance's female students must face the industry expectations of female performers. Tenille Taylor must prove she has the skills to back up her stunning physique. My name's Tanil Taylor. Came here to, you know, get some uh, exposure and uh, just get seen and noticed. I've actually been involved in the wrestling scene for probably about eight years now. You can't just go out there and wrestle. You have to look good and you have to entertain and you have to be what the crowd wants to see and something that they're going to cheer for. So I've got to work on all those little bits and pieces that you take for granted sometimes, but they actually mean a real lot. If I can improve on every aspect of my wrestling uh, and I can, you know, uh, get the, the better reactions from the fans and all those things that I was, that I've been wanting to do for a while, but get that extra advice to, to make that happen, then the payoff would be making something of myself and being on TV, making those dreams come true, and there'd be nothing better than that at all. <laughs> Neil enters the gym, but warming up is the last thing on her mind. <laughs> Carlo? What's going on? <laughs> Tanil and I go way back, you know, back in Australia. Carlo and I were actually <laughs> serious for a number of That's years. Job. Back home in Australia, we worked together for a bit, and it just didn't work, but we're still really good friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I think I doubted it. myself, and I think... That's, that's one of my issues. It ended pretty, pretty crappy, to be honest. Carlo takes things way too personally. Uh, he needs to just relax and chill out, and I don't know if I should say that, actually. <laughs> Hope I'll get to punch you in the face. Yeah. Oh, I just want to punch you in the face. I was hoping I slap you, but I just didn't end, so. Good shot. Where are my lips? <laughs> I'm looking ass. Oh, then he came into the gym, and she looked pretty sexy today. When I saw her came out through the door, you know, wearing her tight blue outfit, I just felt something just raise in my body. Yeah. You wanna see a great stretching ex exercise? Sure. Yes. Oh. Spread your leg and stretch like that. Always oh, good, you should do it. Looks like you're doing something, eh? No, no, don't worry. Do it, I'll tell you if you do it right. No, I think I'll try something else. Tanil, she's a good girl. You got a good dynamic. Dylan. <laughs> Nothing, how are you? <laughs> the women wrestlers, they pretty much have to be sluts. You know, you think about what do, you, what do people want to look at, you know, you don't see ads with girls all covered up. You know, with those bathing suits, top to bottom, you, you want to see tits out, you want to see, like, little skimpy things like that. For training, I don't think it's necessary, but hey, you know, if she's comfortable, she's comfortable. <laughs> Look at how I am with all the boys, like, I, I get along with them great. But she's always going to get attention, especially from these boys. Right now, this is killing me. Just pushing the wrong buttons. And she knows how to do that. Everybody hustle up. We're gonna feed in just a quick drill. 
Knight, you want to hop up? I'll go first. I'm going to send him off. He's going to give me a tackle. I'm going to drop down, reverse atomic drop. I'm going to hit him with a move. Make the cover. You're in before three. So just continually feed through. In the tackle and cover drill, Lance's students must execute a series of moves that end with a pinfall. If the students are not precise in their timing, someone could be seriously injured. Coming up on World of Hurt. Ah! Can't really think much at the time. The pain's quite a lot. Before the break on World of Hurt. Neil and I go way back, you know, back in Australia. Carl and I were actually serious for a number of years. And it just didn't work, but we're still really good friends. took like a side side break fall and I guess just the motion of throwing my uh, my right arm back out to the side just threw it right out of place and uh, dislocated my shoulder when I was trying to put it back in I could feel uh, like the muscles like kind of pop, like popping like flicking yeah. past it and that's what that's what oh, hurts. Spasm. No, it's back in it feels oh, all it's, right it's yeah that, like it's it's quite sore right now but like you can actually as soon as it's in it's like oh like relief. <laughs> Just had to take some time to, you know, get my composure, and uh, you know, can't really think much at the time. It's, the pain's uh, quite a lot. She's a better man than me. Yes, I cry like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Safe to assume you'll be taking it easy the rest of the day. Yeah. yeah. With Tennille's injury posing a threat to her career, Lance decides she's done training for the day. Lance like didn't leave my side and. You could tell that he was genuinely concerned, so that was nice to see. Having sat out for 24 hours, Tineo's shoulder has recovered. Okay, guys, come on up. We move on with another lesson, We're trying to bring that extra aggression to our offense. So if we can get two people in, Tennille, KC. Eager to get back into the ring, the aggression drill will give Tennille the perfect opportunity to prove she's at 100%. I'm not gonna worry about the shoulder dislocating again. We really need to focus on the in-ring stuff. Okay, hold up, hold up. Okay, you wanna get across the person out and everything else, but if you're fixing your hair after every single one, you're not giving us a chance to get into it first. You watch anyone that's on TV these days and they all look good. Like, you have to have your hair done, you have to, you know, have a tan, be in good shape, have an, a nice, flashy outfit, and that's what makes the difference, really, for the girls. Miss her up, miss her up. I didn't, like, oh, look at me, I'm 
beautiful and stunning and I'll, I'll punch her and, you know, whip my hair around. <laughs> you know, like, this is practice. We're not, you know, on a stage in front of crowds of people. We're in front of the guys. Like, I don't need to dress up for these fools. Casey, I think she's very jealous. You know, she obviously needs to do a lot of work on the, on the cardio scene and the diet scene and the sauna scene and the calorie cutting scene and every scene her, there is. Are you calling her fat? I never said that at all. I said she needs to work out. You're looking a little too casual. Mm -hmm. You want to bring that, hey, it's all about me, but not till later. Yeah. And there's a crowd. She wears her outfit to show sex appeal, but we're here to learn to play and get it down. You don't need to worry worrying about a boob popping out here or there because you're in your ginch that you're going to wear during the show. <laughs> OK, hold up. That was better. You got a little bit there at the end. You still need to bring more at the beginning, but you found a bit at the end. Okay. Good. Two others. The students take a break from training. Carlo seizes the opportunity to confront his former girlfriend. How's today? It's all right. Being in close proximity to his ex-girlfriend has brought back feelings for Carlo. Unfortunately, the feeling isn't mutual. It just feels like old times, you know what I mean? Like, Carlo, you're not taking that seriously, are you? We rib each other, we joke around, that's cool. I know, but... Relax. Yes, We've been like that for years, yeah. Carlo. What's the point of getting down about it? Just I'm not getting down about it. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Okay. Oh. <sighs> I'm alright. Coming up on World of Hurt. How can you look aggressive if you're too busy worrying about how you look? Come on! Go hard. Everything you got. <laughs> Before the break on World of Hurt. Hey, hold up, hold up. If you're fixing your hair after every single one. Oh, look at me, I'm beautiful and stunning. It just feels like old times, you know what I mean? Like, we've been done. like that for years, yeah. Carlo. What's the point of getting down about it? We're getting down about it. <laughs> A new day begins, and the tension between Tennille and Carlo is evident. Okay, we're going to continue to work on our aggression, but I, I, I want to show you a few different ways of being aggressive. It's not just about punching and kicking guys a million times. Carlo, you want to hop up? Lance got me in to show what aggression was and beat me up as he normally does. Attitude, sometimes even just looking at somebody. Having set a blistering pace, Lance surprises the students by calling Tennille and Carlo into the ring. Sometimes I find girls aren't as aggressive with each other as maybe they should be, because he's going to take a lot more to get. All right? Yeah. Can't be fixing your hair. You got to get on. Oh. Okay, hold up. He hits you. He's doing that. You know, I dare you to hit me. That's when you've got to. Really just find out, how dare you shove me, you stupid son of a bitch. Yeah. Lance continues to challenge Tennille to be aggressive, but she remains too focused on her appearance. When she walks in the ring, she's obviously just playing with her hair and worrying about how she looks first. She knows she's a good looking girl and she's trying to sell that. This is about look good, this is about whooping his ass. I look like an entertainer. I look like someone that people will see and it stands out from the rest of the crowd. Hold up, again, your face is too relaxed mm -hmm. and you're just taking your time more than you need to. And Maybe she should start focusing on wrestling and, and how she wants to appear in wrestling and not just her physical appearance at wrestling. How can you look aggressive if you're too busy worrying about how you look? I know, I need to be like that to make it in this wrestling business. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hit me. Come on. Ah! Hit me. Ah! Come on. I think that girls and should just be cute, shut their mouth, and be wrestling naked in the mud. Give me some. So you got? I was getting frustrated in the neck because she wasn't, she wasn't giving me anything. So I thought I'd give her a bit of fuel to the fire. Hit me. You gonna hit me or what? Go hard. Everything you got. 
Carla was able to spark emotion into Neil, and she finally delivers an aggressive performance. Off the throw. One, two, three, four. When you're a woman that look that good, you know, and you want, you want to try to be into wrestling, you have to bring something to the table. There you go. There you go. One, two, three, four. Good. Very good. But that's good. It's, it's finding that fifth gear of I'm pissed off and I'm not going to take this anymore and I'm going to take it out on you. That was really good. In the live show, if she brings what she brought in the ring today against me, I think she'll do fine. I'm going to prove that I can be versatile. If I need to get in there and beat the shit out of someone, I'll make sure I do it and I look good too. My expressions, what's, what's you mean? What's on your face, you know, when you're doing that? My lipstick. <laughs> For example? You like my makeup? I like lots of things about you. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I see that you're staring at me while I'm in there, wrestling around. Oh, yeah. Yeah? You stole the show. <laughs> Thanks, Frenchie. No problem. Always a pleasure. <laughs> That's what she likes, you know? Oh, shut up. With the live event looming, Tennille must push through all the emotions and deliver a performance that will live up to expectations. I'm here to show that I can bring every aspect of it into the ring, out of the ring, and be the person that people want to watch on TV and people want to look up to. Lance is paired to Neil to work with KC to push them both. Do you have a hangover? No. You got your sunglasses on inside. It's all part of the total look. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. So we'll let you yeah, change it. Sure. OK, See awesome. You know Thanks, guys. Yeah. Tonight, I really have to bring up the aggression that I was working on in the ring with Lance, um, as well as the sexy side of me, and kind of mix those two together and got to be spot on. It's not a night, uh, not a night to get anything wrong. And here we go with World of Hurt Live. Minutes before the match, Casey is anything but pleased with her assignment. I don't like people taking this opportunity for granted, and there's too many wrestlers in the business that just want to be here for other reasons than strictly going out there and performing. And if you know, if you're in here to make money, you probably shouldn't be in this. You need to love it, to want it, and I want it more. Coming up on the World of Earth. Nice shot from this vantage point of Tennille Taylor. Before the break on World of Hurt. Maybe she should start focusing on wrestling and not just her physical appearance at wrestling. Casey, I think she's very jealous. I don't like people taking this opportunity for granted. You need to love it, to want it, and I want it more. Introducing first, hailing from Melbourne, Australia, Tennille Taylor. Tennille making her way to the ring. 128 pounds of sexuality and beauty. To be a really responding to this crowd, a lot of personality and confidence, telling the fans to kiss her ass. With all eyes on Tennille, she ensures the crowd has ample time to appreciate her physique. match. Neckbreaker blood offense so far. Ooh, huge drop kick. Close line, Tennille reeling. Sets her up for a body slam. Tennille, not a lot of offense so far. Snap suplex and a bridge. Minutes into the match, KC has set a quick pace, but Tennille has yet to demonstrate anything she's learned. Nice shot from this vantage point of Tennille Taylor. Somehow got her momentum. Oh! 
Neal yelling in the face of Casey Spinelli and puts her into the turnbuckle hard. The momentum right shifts, the and Neal finally Neal finds her aggressive side. Hard shots to the back. Oh, huge reverse neck breaker. Nice arm drag takedown from Casey, another. Spinelli reverses. Oh! Spinelli factory right in the middle of the ring. It's over. Your winner, Casey Spinelli! An aggressive, hard-fought match on the case of Tennille Taylor. She looked good doing it. Done. The spotlight's still on Tennille as she fixes her hair on the way back. I got aggressive when I needed to, uh, when I needed to beat her up. But I also, when I had got to that stage, and then I would, you know, fix my hair and and play all that into it as well. So I feel like I really got a good mix of things. The crowd went nuts, and that means that I did a good job. So I'm really happy. Today is uh, evaluations with Lance. Yeah, I'm nervous. Lance really knows what he's talking about. His advice and his feedback is very important. And if you know, there's something that I'm not doing good enough and, and he's telling me that, then I really have to take that into consideration. Why you haven't made it yet? The one reason why you haven't made it? There's that plateau that a lot of people hit that they start figuring they're good and they get relaxed and you plateau. And I think there's that one extra level of being able to get comfortable and relaxed in doing what you do, but not looking it. And I think that's really the last line between being just pretty good and being actually quite great. I think you're at that line that if you can jump across it, then you've, you know, you've got the world in your hands. And it's just a little bit extra level of aggression uh, and a little extra stage, but I think that's the only last obstacle you have. Get back in the ring and do a little bit more work. I think you're uh, well on your way. Okay. Thank you very much, Lance. I feel really good about what Lance had to say. It's actually really positive. I feel like I'm this close to making it. I think as soon as I get out there and make sure people see me, then I'm really gonna get noticed and people are gonna like what they see.